Okay, well, welcome everybody. I believe this is one of the, or one of the last talks on GDC of this year, so thanks everybody for uh, sticking around and coming over. Um, we're going to do a talk about uh, audio when uh, using the Unreal Engine 3. I got a few people up here. I have Dan Vogel right here uh, from Epic. Thanks for coming over, Dan. And I have Will Brandt and Nick Whiting from America's Army, who are going to show actually their Unreal Engine 3 licensee. So they're going to show some actual um, work they did in, um, in creating the next America's Army game using the Unreal Engine. And they're going to show everything from like uh, recording the sound to cutting the sound to get, putting it in game, adding advanced features and all that stuff. They have some really cool, uh, cool demos coming up. So this is a little overview we're doing. We're going to have a little history of the uh, Unreal Engine because between Dan and me, I think it's been about uh, 10 years or so of doing all the audio stuff in the Unreal Engines. Unreal Engine 1 back in, uh, that was 98 to now. Um, then after that uh, nostalgia piece, we're going to do a little uh, feature overview just to show what kind of things we're designing in the new, uh, the next level of engines and what the features are you kind of have to think about and plan with and how it all works out. Um, since there's more than one platform around nowadays, you really have to think uh, well about how you're going to abstract things that it will work on PS3, the 360, the PC, all these different different platforms with different hardware sets. You know, some of them are host based, some of them have hardware processing, all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll hint on implementation real quick. We're uh, stepping into a DSP effects, which is a new kind of hot thing, you know, what everybody is audio wise looking at, so we're showing. Uh, the things we are doing there, the new things we're going to uh, give to developers soon, and all those kinds of things. And then I'm going to hand off the whole second half of the session to the America, uh, America's Army's guys. So, yeah. yeah, this is how it all started. This is how I ended up uh, here in America myself, working on Unreal Engine 1 back in 98, using the famous uh, Galaxy audio engine, which is the thing I actually wrote myself. <laughs> um, so it was, that was an, uh, a software mixer. Uh, that also supported Drag Sound 3D output back in 1998 on, uh, on EAX1 compatible boards and also on Oreo A3D compatible boards. Um, there was almost next to minimal shared code, it was just all kind of hacked together in one big block of stuff and uh, it was pretty cool back in the day but uh, definitely not very flexible. Uh, they did have one really cool thing that like they kind of dropped since then which was that sequenced music. It was using the famous mod files back from the Commodore Amiga which is like even older than this. And um, just for nostalgia, I put the minimum systems back on there because that's what we had to actually deal with. It had to run on that machine. And uh, of course, Unreal Engine 1 was actually running a uh, software 3D renderer as well. So it was really pretty, uh, pretty tight to get all that stuff going. Um, I'm going to hand off to Dan now because he is the man that wrote the Unreal Engine 2 audio stuff and, uh, and up. So I'll, uh, I'll be quiet now and let him do the talking. 